Hi, my name is James Atkinson and welcome to The Life of Hair. In this episode, we're gonna look at a haircut that I use all the time in the salon. All the haircuts that I bring to you on The Life of Hair are the ones that I use on a daily basis. They are the fundamental core principal haircuts that I think that every hairstylist should have in their bags. Now this one is one that I don't see many stylish using and it's horizontal graduation. A tricky technique to get your head around initially, but once you've got your head around it, it's an absolute belter. It's exactly how my hair's cut, giving me that extra width, ascending my cheekbones, and really creating some shape for me. So it's perfect on curly hair, but it works a treat on straight, fine hair textures that you're going to sweep back and build up some shape so they don't look like their head's too slim. So let's crack on with this video. First things first, a nice clean fin shape section on the top. I use fin shape sections a lot in my hair cutting. I find them nice and easy to put in and they work perfectly on a lot of different haircuts. This particular one travels through the center of the parietal ridge and finishes in between the occipital bone and the crown. Using your comb just to check that both sides are exactly the same and if you are completely happy then clip the top up out of the way. Take a line that is vertical and stops at the top of the ear. Take another horizontal section and elevate this section 90 degrees from the head. Every subsequent section then is pulled down onto that first section. Tension is so important in this haircut. If your tension isn't strong enough, your graduation will not be as seamless as you were hoping. So make sure that you have plenty of tension on the hair as you cut. That is that front quarter done. Taking another section that mirrors the outline of the hairline and elevating the hair straight out from the head as we did in the first section and cutting a square line that travels into the nape. Then every subsequent section after that is pulled down onto that first section with good tension. I cannot stress to you how important it is to keep the hair under good tension during this haircut. It is also very important that you keep the hair even dampness throughout. The hair is more elastic when it is wet. So it is really important that you keep spraying the hair down to maintain the same elasticity in the hair while you're cutting. Working our way around the head in a diagonal line makes it easier to travel around the head. And working all the way through to the opposite corner of the other side of the head makes blending and connecting the two sides so much easier. That is a really hot tip guys. Do exactly the same thing on the opposite side to the one you started on. Take a horizontal section, elevate it 90 degrees straight out from the head and cut a square line. Take your next section and with good tension pull it down onto the first one. Do exactly the same thing in the back. This technique can seem daunting in the beginning but once you get your head around it it's an absolute classic. It is something that can be used in the salon nearly every single day. Once the underneath has been cut we're going to section the hair off from the highest point of the head and brush the back towards the occipital bone and the front clipped neatly out of the way. With this back section we're going to do exactly the same thing as we did on the sides taking diagonal sections, pulling the hair straight down with good tension, cutting a clean square line 
that travels around the head shape. Remember guys, clean sections make a clean haircut. It is really, really important that you do your absolute best to take a clean section every time you go to cut the hair. Keeping the hair damp at all times will make this so much easier. Onto the final section, take a centre parting one and a half centimetres wide. We're going to simply use a square layer technique to cut this. It will not be connected into the sides. Split that section into two so you have got an even guide on both sides and elevate the hair straight up to the ceiling. Once you have finished the wet cutting phase that square layer at the top, dry the hair off and refine as you need to. I'll say this in all of my hair cutting videos, but refining the shape makes the difference between you and the salon down the road or you and your colleagues. It is really important that you texturize and personalize the shape so that you can really, really stand out. And there you have it, an absolute belter of a technique, one that I use every single day, as I mentioned before. It's a cracker of a classic technique. It's fantastic if you're spicing up something a bit more creative. It's super on curly hair for those really expanded shapes. It's one of my personal favorites. So give it a go, guys. Let me know how you get on in the comments. And if you've enjoyed it, you know what to do. Hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and thank you to you guys that have subscribed over the last weeks, months, six months, however long it's been. It is much appreciated. I'll see you next week for another episode.